Hello and welcome back to LearnSBomb.com. My name is Skylar and I'm going to be walking you through Cyclone DX for the .NET projects. This is a specifically .NET module for generating SBOMs and it runs on .NET Core version 3.1 and .NET Core version 6.0 and no longer runs on any previous versions. You can find more information in their documentation. You can find a link to that in the description down below. So let's get started. Obviously, first you need to install .NET. I'm not going to be going over that today, but now once you've done that, you just need to install the Cyclone DX tool. The command for that is .NET tool install dash dash global and then Cyclone DX. I've already installed that, so it'll say tool is already installed, but for you, it should go through it. And then at the end, it should have a, some green text saying how to run it. We're going to do that. After you install that, just like to go over the tool really quickly, it can either scan .sln files, or it can recursively scan the project references of the supplied csproj files. I'm going to be scanning the .sln file. But if you just provide the base directory, it will know to recursively scan all the reference files. Also, the default format is .xml, but you can change that with the dash J option, which just switches it to a JSON format. I'm going to be keeping it in XML, but you can definitely do dash J. So the command is .net dash cyclone DX. And then you need to provide either the .sln file itself or just the base path. Since I'm doing the .sln file, I'm just going to specify that. So it's for me, duality.sln dash o, and then that's for to specify the output dash o. I'm just going to do an output directory, not in my current directory. Obviously, you could just do dot if you want it in this current directory as well. So when we run this, it will go through a bunch of files and as you can see, it is still analyzing the csproj files. So I know on their in their documentation, it says it will either scan the .sln file or the .csproj files, but it kind of looks like they're doing both. So I don't know why it has different options. Once it finishes running, we can see that the output was written to the output I specified. And if we look at that, we can see that there is quite a bit of information. It has the version number of what created it and the information of the Cyclone DX module for .NET. It then has some comments of the following components. The components are then addressed here in the XML format. It has hashing algorithms, licenses, website links, version numbers, etc. And we can see that's a pretty common thread. So it's both human readable to an extent and also easily machine readable. So that's very good. Given how large the project that I scanned was, it did, didn't take too long, probably 30 minutes or less, 30 seconds or less. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it didn't take very long, only four hours. No, it took, it took around 30 seconds, which isn't, which isn't a bad time at all. Overall, my impression of it is it's really good for .NET projects. It didn't take long to install at all. It was pretty self-explanatory. It runs pretty quickly. As I said, given how large the file is, it does have to reach out and find a bunch of dependencies. It also lets you choose an output so you can centralize all your SBOM creations into a single directory without having to create them and then move them over. I do really like this program and think it could be useful in your use cases as well. That is all for today. That has been the Cyclone DX module for .NET projects, and this has been LearnSBOM.com. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye Thank you for checking out this video. If you really liked it, be sure to check out our other videos right here, and then you can also subscribe right up top here. And again, thank you. Bye bye